Hey friends, it's Miss Amanda again. I'm gonna teach you another way to draw a flower or really to cut a flower and paint a flower. I'm showing you these two and I've put them on there. I haven't glued them down. I like to do that last to give myself choices. Okay, so I've cut a piece of paper in half just like this. Just like that simple corner paper. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my paper in half and this just gives me a nice guide how big I want it to be, okay? So I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you guys a completed one. So I was playing around and I decided I wanted to make something like this. I really liked these flowers, these two-dimensional flowers, but I wanted to make something three-dimensional that I could put into my garden if I wanted to, just like that. And you could put all of them on there if you want to. I just really, really, really like to make 3D things sometimes. So if you can look, it's really easy to make, you guys. Let me show you how, okay? So I'm gonna set these aside, and I'm gonna set my grass aside. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do now is I folded my half a sheet of paper in half again, and I'm just gonna cut it. It does not matter, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Straight up. Okay, and I'm gonna set everything else sort of aside while I get started. Now I need to make a round shape. It does not have to be perfectly round, don't worry. All right, I'm just going to take and cut a round shape. Just like that, okay? Absolutely is not perfect, very organic shape. And I'm actually gonna kind of crunch it up, but not like a ton. Just a little bit, and then I'm gonna open it back up and put my scissors aside. And I'm gonna take my handy dandy watercolor paints, okay? And I'm gonna wake my paints up. Wake up red, wake up orange, wake up yellow. I've already woken up the green because I just did my background. Wake up blue and wake up purple. I'm not gonna wake up black or brown because they will make my picture super muddy and I don't want that for today. And I'm gonna stir it up just like that, okay? Now, you can use your brush just like I said. Let's say I wanna start purple. I'm gonna start my first layer purple. You can use your brush, but that takes forever. So I'm actually gonna use my finger. I'm gonna stick my finger in there and I'm just gonna rub it just like that, okay? So I have my little teacup of water on the side, like this. So if I need more water, I'm actually dipping my finger in the water and then in the paint, just like that. But I'm gonna push that off to the side because you can't see it very well on the screen because I have a little tiny tripod that I'm working with. All right. I'm just getting the whole thing painted. And you can see I'm getting on the table, so please do this any place where you don't mind messes being made. Okay, just like that. That's very simple. I was messing around and playing as people who enjoy art do. And I thought, huh, I'm gonna take the next color that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna paint the middle of this in the kind of a, in the circle, okay? So, and I took a little bit of red because I did red after that. And then I just kind of put it in the middle because I liked it. I wanted to see what happened. So I just did that, okay? Don't put too much paint on this paper because it's not actually watercolor paper. It's just printer paper and it will break if you get too much on there, okay? So that's the first one. And I'm actually, while I'm letting it dry, I'm gonna crunch it up just a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna set it over to the side. All right, and then I'm gonna get my next one going, okay? So in order to make it a little bit smaller, I'm gonna kind of use my cutout here. This one you want to make a little smaller, okay? Let's see. I don't want this one to be quite as big as the last circle. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take this circle back and I'm gonna see. Huh. That's a little big for me. I think I'm even gonna make this a little bit smaller. Just gonna cut the edges. 
little bit more. It doesn't definitely. Don't worry about making this perfect, okay? I'm gonna take that. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. Just a little bit. Just like that. Put this off to the side. And I'm gonna use my red. Okay. I've already woken my red up. If you wake up all of your paint colors before you start, they get nice and wet for you and perfect consistency to use. Not too wet, but not too dry, and they'll be really great for you. So I've got my red, and I'm gonna take, I feel like I'm gonna do an orange next. I think I might do an orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my orange, just a little bit on my finger, and go right in the middle. I just like how it makes a new color. I just think it's really pretty. All right, so I'm gonna take that one and set it to the side, and I've got one more. I have, let me see, I think I can just even use a corner. I don't wanna waste my paper. I think I can probably just use one of these corners. Just like that. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, take this, scrunch it up like that, spread it back out. Now, a word of warning. If I am using, let's say, my base color is green, I don't want to use red next because if I do that, I'm going to get a brown color. So I used pretty much red, purple, and orange. Now, purple and red, this, this one kind of goes towards pink, so these will work, all right? But you know what? Try it and see what happens. You can always do it again if you end up with a color you don't like. It's just printer paper, so no worries. No stress. All right, I'm gonna take this on my finger, and I'm just going to, you see I'm holding it kind of with one finger there. All right, just like that. I'm gonna wash off my finger a little bit and get my yellows already getting so muddy, but that's okay. And I'm going to put it on there. Okay, and you can't see it very well now. The yellow doesn't show up super great when it's wet, but it really will when it dries. Okay, so now I'm going to show you this right here. We have one more thing to do. We need to make a little green thing for the middle. Okay, so I am honestly just going to use a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to grab an edge like that. Okay, just like that. And I think I'm actually going to use my brush for this one because it's so small. Oh, I just knocked into my teacup. And I'm just going to take and brush it green, just like that. I might even flip it. This takes a little bit more, and this one's a little harder because it's so tiny. Just like that, a little bit of green. Okay. And then I'm going to ball it up like this. Just like that. And I'm gonna let that dry. And if you go back, if you come back and look at this, it is a very cool three-dimensional thing when you stack it later after it's dry. Don't try to stack it until it's dry. And then you're gonna use a glue stick. That's what we have. I think we sent this home in your packet. And you're just gonna take and you're gonna glue all the pieces together. And you're gonna glue this onto your background just like that. And you can make a bunch of them to make like a little flower garden. I think that will be super cool. All right, you guys. See you later. Bye.